I am worried sick that Vladimir Putin may use nukes. Am I right to worry so much? I think you can relax there. The US and Russia have the two largest nuclear arsenals on earth. Well, all know this. But it's insane just how many nukes each side has. The US, in particular, has thousands of bombs most are short-range missiles or plane-dropped munitions. However, the most notable weapons at the 400 Minuteman 3 intercontinental ballistic missiles. Each Minuteman 3 ICBM has three nuclear warheads on the tip. These things shoot way up, basically into space, then the atomic warheads separate and strike their targets below. What could the US do with 400 of these missiles? Well, 400 ICBMs means 1,200 nuclear missiles. Russia only has 200 cities with over 100,000, and the US would be able to strike. So if we were going after the population, we could practically annihilate the entire Russian population in just a few hours. Correction The Minuteman 3 ICBM can carry three warheads, but they are only equipped to carry one. These missiles would likely target significant cities, military buildups, airports, and Russian nuclear missile platforms. Either way, Russia lost that war don't you think? Sure they may take out the entire US in the process, but there is no Russia left after a nuclear war. Putin wants to stay in power, and ideally, he wants to strengthen and restore Russia to its pre-collapse USSR heights. Starting a nuclear war would most certainly impede these plans. Even if Putin lives, and I doubt it, he wouldn't have a country left to rule over. It just makes no sense for Putin to do. Even if the USA and Russia were physically fighting a war, it wouldn't happen. Did you know that there were weapons of mass destruction in German hands before World War II? For example, Germany had large stockpiles of extremely effective poison gas weapons. Hitler could have easily used these weapons to give himself a leg up, especially when he severely lost the war in 1944 and 1945. Yet Hitler only ever used these weapons one or two times against Russians in very narrow seastumances. Despite his large stockpiles of nerve agents, he never used them. Why? He feared that if he did that, the US and Western allies would do the same to his forces. So even a madman like Adolf Hitler refused to use WMDs even when he was clearly about to lose everything? So I don't think Putin is a viler than Hitler, nor do I think Putin is dumber than Hitler. Answered by Alex. US doctrine is clear. Second, Russia launches any nuclear missiles. We launch everything. We have nuclear submarines and missile silos ready to launch at a moment's notice. The US can go from peaceful to having 400 nuclear weapons in the air in literally 5 minutes. Meanwhile, the UK has atomic weapons too and they are a lot closer. This is because they have the same doctrine as the US. Ask yourself why Putin is invading Ukraine. He wants to secure the Russian border. Ukraine controls access to the European plan, which is Germany and France's invasion path. Controlling Russian means NATO forces would be funneled up north or south, bolstering Russian defense capability. Ukraine would be a great buffer state between Russia and NATO. Russia wants to ship oil and gas via pipes through Ukraine. A non-friendly government may cut these pipes off unless they get a big piece of the pie. Ukraine being a NATO country would mean NATO forces could assemble feet from Russian territory, and Russia would be powerless to stop them. There are tactical reasons. Above all, Putin wants to rebuild the old USSR. Putin saw the USSR collapsing as an empire fracturing. He wants to rebuild the empire, and Ukraine is a big piece. This shows that Putin wants a strong, economically secure, and militarily dominant Russia. The instance Russian nukes are launched. There is no more Russia at all. In all likelihood, Putin is killed. If he manages to live, he will be executed for starting a nuclear war. There is no world where Putin decides to nuke the West. It makes no sense logically or even emotionally. Answered by Alex. A correction on your weapon statements. Minuteman 3 carries a single warhead, so those 400 missiles are 400 shots, not 1,200. However, it is accurate enough to be used as a counterforce asset, targeting launch centers rather than whole missile fields. An airfield runway rather than the city nearby. 
Triton II, carried on Ohio-class ballistic missile subs, are MIRVed. Each of the 14 subs carries 24 missiles, which can carry up to 12 warheads of 475 kilotons yield, although 8 is the number thrown around the most for actual practice along with decoys. While not as accurate as of the Minuteman, they are accurate enough that SLBMs are no longer revenge city killers. So the truth is more fearsome than the postulated Minuteman count. 14 subs X-24 missiles X-8 warheads totals 2,688 warheads, if all boats are flushed out of port. And those are hidden under sea, in American waters, but able to hit the bulk of Russia. The thinking for many years now was that the land-based ICBM force was to be more of a missile sponge, the Soviets slash now Russians would hit those first to try to keep as many as possible from launching. Answered by Kevin. There is a risk that tactical nuclear weapons may be used since the Russian military is well trained for this kind of action, and the temptation to deploy them may become too strong to resist. Answered by Matthew. Everyone loses in the scenario you describe, the nuclear winter that would follow such an attack would see life reliant upon photosynthesis dead within three months, and species that eat these organisms would die within six months. Billions of people would perish. Answered by Jim. This holds when the assumption is, that Putin still cares and his paranoia is still under control, I, E, he has frequently stated that nuclear war is terrible, but a world without Mother Russia is not worth having. This implies any war that seems to take Russia out of the picture militarily or economically might trigger his paranoia that he thinks it's time to take everyone with Russia. He's so isolated currently, out of fear of being taken out by his own traitors, that he's not 100% mentally reliable. I see him as a suicide bomber who has not decided it's worth it yet. But he's a cold-blooded mind Fouquet fanatic, and it's never easy to guess what such people will do like a father holding his own children hostage. I hope he cares enough about his own life, his people, and his legacy, not having a mental meltdown and doing something like that. He has demonstrated utter and clinical apathy towards any of his own or others' suffering. As soon as fanaticism is involved, e. g. religious nuts, predictability's out the door. He might believe his beloved motherland is doomed anyway, and he'll do the world a favor and take the evil west with them. I might be, and hopefully am, wrong. Answered by Johannes. The assumption here is that all decisions will be made on a rationale and calculated basis. Deep insecurities, mental illness, and depression could lead to clicking the button, even though he knows the implications. The boy that went on a school shooting spree wasn't thinking on a rational level. Crime is not necessarily calculated on a national level. That's the problem. Answered by Antonio. Yes. It's a legitimate worry. The problem is that nukes exist, and Murphy's Law says that anything that can happen eventually will happen. So, if not Putin today, then maybe North Korea or Iran or Pakistan or a terrorist tomorrow. Someday is the word. Answered by Sam. We constantly undermine the role of the West in starting nuclear warfare. We always thought about will it be North Korea or Russia? What if it's another way around? After all, the US is the only country ever to use a nuclear weapon on any country, and that's two on a city, not a military establishment. Worst of that, they still don't regret it. Provoking other countries against their enemies is not necessary. NATO need not push further in Europe against Russia or the non-existent USSR. They always tend to start conflicts between countries to profit from their most lucrative weapons trading business. A weaker president like Biden and clowns like Boris could also result in an escalated situation in peace matters in the world. Never underestimate the power of the West in starting a nuclear war. Answered by Ravindra.